What is up everyone, we are back with another tutorial and on this one I'm going to show you how to uh, install USB Loader GX for your Nintendo Wii as well as transferring Wii games and GameCube games and getting all the box art pretty much making it look like this and you do need a Wii that has the homebrew channel so you need to soft mod your Wii before you do this if you haven't done so already then I'll put a link on the description to show you how to do that but in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to load up um, USB Loader GX and get all your games compiled ready for you to play um, you do also need the D2X uh, C iOS's so custom iOS's before this actually works and also I have a shortcut on the Wii menu so uh, forwarder basically a shortcut for the Wii channel so instead of having to go on to homebrew channel and load USB loader I can load load it on the channel okay so the first step you want to do for this is you want to go on to this website here called wii.guide-usbloader-gx this will have the most up-to-date uh, USB loader and you need to make sure your SD card is formatted to FAT32 um, if you already have soft modded your Wii then you should already have a SD card already ready for this process so what we need to do is download USB loader GX so you just click on this again this won't work if you don't have your custom iOS's installed before this so make sure you have done this step first before you try the USB loader so we need the USB loader GX and we also need if you just scroll down to where you find WADS so this will be the shortcut or forwarder uh, so we don't need to keep going on the homebrew channel and load it so just click on this one if you have a Wii U then click on this one This will open up a page and basically download the WAD file for you. So we have both of these files ready to go. So here's our USB loader GX folder. We just want to extract this. And then you should have a folder that looks like this. And then here's our WAD file. So all we need to do is copy the apps file and paste it, I already have one here, but paste it on the root of your SD card. So as you can see here, I have USB loader GX. Don't worry about these extra files, it's just because this is already set up. But um, yeah, the folder should be under apps and then USB loader underscore GX grab the WAD file so copy that and just paste that onto the root of your SD card in order to install WAD files we also need a program called uh, Wii Mod Lite this program here will basically uh, install all your WADs for you so again on this website Wii.guide this will explain how to install WADs on your Wii with Wii Mod Lite the WAD manager of choice is we would like but there's also another one called this one but we're going to use WAD manager so just click on this to download it this will open a another website and where is it you we want the uh, zip file so just click on that click on download file so grab we mod light extract it and again it will have a apps folder we mod light is here I'm going to copy this, paste that under your root of your SD card, and there we have Wii Mod Lite. All right, while we're still on the computer, the last thing we want to do is we want to try and get GameCube games to work. So, in order for the games to be able to run, we need this program here called Nintendo. So, this will be the GameCube USB loader for Wii and also Wii U. It's a standalone thing, but you can also redirect USB loader or Wii Flow to run this in the background 
while it plays GameCube games. So there's three files that we need. We need the logo. We also need the metadata. So we, the XML file is also used for a forwarder. So you need to make sure you have that. And we also need the boot.doll file. So basically just click on this, that will download. We also need the uh, XML file. So there is no uh, download for this here, I don't think, but under the GitHub page, this one here, you can scroll down and get the XML here just by right clicking and saving the content as the file itself. So once you have those three files, you need to rename the loader.dol to boot.dol, but that's already done for us. And we need to make a folder first called Nintendo. So let's make a new folder. Type in Nintendo or lowercase. Uh, we want to change the loader.dol to boot.dol lowercase. Grab these three files and paste them into your Nintendo folder. Go back and copy this to your SD card. Then we want to copy it under apps, paste it in there. So that's pretty much it for now. We're going to head back onto the Wii and I'm going to load up a USB loader and Nintendo. Okay, we've got the Wii booted up again and our SD card is back inside and our hard drive is connected via the USBs at the back. Let's go into Homebrew Channel. Let's load up USB GX loader quickly. Okay, click on USB loader GX. So once you load up this, you should have like your games showing as no image. So as long as like uh, your games are showing up, that means it's reading your hard drive correctly or your USB drive or SD card correctly. And in order to get the box art to show up, we need to press one and this will bring up the cover download menu. Check whichever ones you want here. You can disable some of the 3D cover arts if you don't like the 3D ones. Um, I just kind of make sure all of this is ticked and then I click OK and then it's found 42 missing files so if I click yes this will then fetch it from the source so this is going to download all of the cover art um, box art and stuff so let it do its thing this does take a while if you have a lot of games once that's done, um, you can also change the way the layout uh, is shown. It's a way you can also change the layout of the loader, so you can have it as a kind of roulette wheel, or just showing all the games like a Wii channel. So this is showing my Wii and GameCube games are all in sort of one category. If your games aren't showing up, then you can mess around with some of the menu options here. So make sure the title sources, your Wii and GC games are selected. And then it will show up here. Sometimes you need to unclick favorite for it to show all of your games. So I can easily load up a game. And if you have any error codes that come up or any issues, 
when you load up a game, like if it crashes or blacks out, then most likely your custom iOS's um, aren't installed correctly or you haven't installed the most up-to-date ones. So make sure your custom iOS's are up-to-date. Okay, I don't have a nunchuck for this game. Um, well, I haven't got one connected, so let's just go back. But that's just an example of how fast a Wii game kind of loads up on a standard 2.5 inch hard drive. Maybe a little bit faster on a USB drive, but some USB drives um, may not be compatible. And with a 2.5 hard drive, you can get a lot more out of the space for the price that you pay. So it's a cheaper to get like a one terabyte 2.5 hard drive than it is to get like a 512 USB drive. I need to change some of the settings on Nintendon't. So let's just open this up. You can load up your GameCube games using this, uh, but you can also uh, load up your GameCube games on the USB loader. So select USB, um, unless yours, your games are on the SD card. As you can see here, I have my GameCube games. So I'm not gonna load a game just to show you that it works. But what I am going to do is go into settings so press B to go into settings. Go to turn on mem card emulation. So instead of using a physical GameCube memory card on your Wii, when you have a limited amount of space using that, uh, we can make a memory card, a virtual memory card that will save your game saves onto the hard drive. And you can also change some more settings here like force widescreen and some other stuff as well which I'm not really gonna mess around with. You can turn on cheats. We can also turn on Wiimote GameCube Rumble as well. Okay, so the last thing that I need to do is install our forwarder for USB Loader GX. This is basically the shortcut for this. So this shows up on my Wii channel. So I don't have to keep opening Homebrew channel and then loading the USB Loader here because it's just kind of a waste of time. Uh, so Weed Mod Light is what we need to open. Now scroll down to WAD Manager and select uh, where you where you saved your WAD. So in my case, I've saved them on the SD card slot. That's where I've put them on the root of it. So we need to open that. And here is our shortcut for USB loader. So click on that and then install WAD. Press any uh, button to continue. We can back out of this. So this is our WAD manager program. So if you have other WADs or other shortcuts or themes or anything like that, you can be uh, on this program. So just back out of this again. I'm just gonna load, oh, let's just go onto system menu. Click on USB uh, loader GX. So this is the forwarder. If your GameCube games aren't loading, um, you can always go on to the settings here. Go on to loader settings, scroll down until you see GameCube mode. We need to make sure this is um, checked to Nintendo. So this is where we've put our Nintendo folder. It will locate its folder and the boot loader. So as long as that is checked, unless you use something else um, your GameCube game should work perfectly fine once you load a GameCube game it will um, register as your GameCube controller so you need to make sure your GameCube controller is connected in order to be able to do anything basically let's boot up Def Jam Fight for New York uh, you can also go into settings under any game You can change the iOS, I think, if you have any problems under the game load. OK, 
Okay, so let's just load a GameCube game to see if it works. And I guess it just made a virtual memory card just then. Our game should load. It does take a little bit longer than the Wii games. And there we go. It's loaded fine. I can't control anything with my Wii mount. I, I do need a GameCube controller connected to my Wii in order to navigate through the menus and I can't actually go back. So once you load up a GameCube game, treat it as like, like a GameCube to turn it off and turn it back on to choose a different game. I think you can maybe mess around with some of the settings to bring up like a USB loader menu. But at this time I can only just turn off the Wii and turn it back on to change or go back to USB loader and then change a GameCube game. But that's pretty much it. If you do have any issues um, loading a GameCube game, then check your um, check the file name. So make sure it says game.iso. If you do have any questions or if you are stuck, then please comment down below. If this video has helped you, then please give a like and subscribe and I'll see you again on another tutorial.